But a da, good morning. Day hike today. Out the blue, nothing planned. So I'm going up the walking path. Let's see what adventure brings today. So we're heading up the valley now. I have done a video on this route before but that was on a warm sunny September day. This is cold, snowy March morning. I know there's no snow here at the minute but there is probably about 700 metres, I'd say. Oh, look at that. All the rock pools and waterfalls where people like to come to in the summer. Have a bit of a dip, picnic, etc. So it was on this section where Carry On Up the Kaibu was filmed. And the maid here look like India. Stunning morning. So there's your Aran and the South Ridge which come into view now. I'm just gonna keep plodding on up the walking path. It's the steepest ascent of them all on here. You are starting from sea level and you start from the car park in uh, Nanquinant. So we have the Gladstone Rock here now, and the commemorative plaque. Stunning scenery today. All the clouds seem to be in about eight, maybe 900 meters, give or take. The forecast is good, so we'll just get what we're given. And there she is, with the Snowden. The tallest mountain and of all in all of England and Wales. The old quarry. So I'm up in the snow line now, the poles have come out and I'll weigh it up the higher I go where the micro spikes are needed. Alright at the minute, but we'll see. Look at that, very atmospheric up here now, not long left of the walking path. Ooh. I've not filmed a great deal on the last section. Just uh, trying to keep a sure footing. But I've got the final scrambly section now to do. You can see the path we come up, I think. The final section now. It used to be a scree path, I believe it's um, got a, some uh, proper path now. So we'll see. Right, let's just crack on. With 
185 meters. Oh shit. Thirty-ninth time. Woo! So I've just had a flask of tea just to warm up from the inside. I've been up. Thirty-ninth time done and dusted. Happy days. I'm gonna go back down Southridge and have a bit of fun there. I'm leaving the micro spikes on. A few sketchy parts. Right. So I'm just getting on to the start of the south ridge. Can't see bugger all. And I've got the micro spikes on just as a precaution. Staring down into the abyss. This is what winter hiking's all about. Walking on a ridge, not knowing what's either side. Well, I do. I've done this about seven times now, maybe more. Uh, it's knowing which route to stay to as well, because you can end up veering right and going down the Rith D path, which I don't want to do. So anyone, stay left, down South Ridge, come back out into the Watkin path valley it's aces fair play enjoying myself so i'm almost off the ridge south ridge just dropping down to the col between here and there and then uh back down into the valley i should be able to strip off a few layers in a bit hopefully as well just need to keep minding my step oh the snow drifts Sun's trying to make an appearance. I didn't get no views at the top, which is nothing new. It's hit and miss. Where do you get them? Or uh, might clear them by the time I get down to the col. Anyway, let's see. Not sure if you can actually pick that up, but the views opened up a little bit. Oh, I'll say a little bit. Oh, it keeps lifting and lowering and teasing us. It's trying. It is, it's trying. Yeah, and hopefully, yep, yeah, there's just a bit of clearing starting to come now. Looks very alpiny. Oh yeah, walking down into Rith D, the old quarry by here as well, but the call's just below the other side of here, and then I'm back down into the Watkin, but look at that, very atmospheric, i take the spikes off in a moment as well. Look at that. With the Cymru and Beast. Somebody's built a little snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? I'll ride a bike around the hall. Oh, I better not sing that. In case I get done for bloody copyright. Bloody stupid bloody thing. Look at that though, that's just mega. Beautiful here, Adam. So looking back across to the Watkin path, down to the old quarry, back down the valley. So I'll be here taking that path down. It's just the other side of this ridge. It's amazing.
brilliant this is. Hell of a day. Look at that. Look at that now. So I'm just below the cloud line. I make out Minid Mauer to your right. Again, and the start of the Nantler Ridge there. And then Mole Hebog is over that side. Mole Rogov, Mole Lefi. <sighs> Oh, superb, stupendous. Look at that. It is I just, yeah, don't get me wrong, the lakes are stunning, but it just can't beat home, like. <sighs> Gumri is where the heart is. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. So the style for the Cambrian Way. So that ridge dropped down back to the path. Bloody lifting now, all the cloud, typical. Look at Minid Mauer now. Absolutely stunning. There's a bit of a snow coming in, so I want to get off here. So I'm at the call now, at the wall. So the old quarry's just the other side here. And I'm taking this path down, back through the valley of the shadow of death. Uh, and back to the car. What a cracking hike I've had today. Absolutely splendid. Amazing. I love it here. I love it when it's quiet anyway. You can get too busy. Right. Keep plodding on. That scree path's always fun to come down. Oh. Walking up the walking path. With her in the clouds. Not long now to the car. Half an hour maybe. Tops. Don't know. We'll see. All the history in this valley. You can see the route a little better. Now the clouds lifting. Southridge, splendid route. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Clouds have lifted over some of the Mulwinians. Look at that. We have such a beautiful country here in Wales. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, and just over an hour's drive, and I can be in all this. Oh, beautiful. Too cold for to go for a dip this time round. Look at that. Stunning. Thank you all for joining me on this adventure. 39th summit of Snowdon. It's better when it's quiet like it is today. I mean the weather helps. Not many people want to venture out when there's a possibility of snow and maybe death. Um, but yeah. Look at that now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thanks again, everyone. I always want to thank you all at the end of every video. Uh, all the subscribers, uh, everybody that supports me and gives me positive and, and um, constructive feedback as well. Uh, helps make the content better for you guys. So thanks again, 
But with that, you've been amazing.